Slave City family, what is up? Check your clocks because mine says it is five o'clock in the beautiful city of Chicago, which means once again, it is time for the most wonderful time of the week, hashtags. Friday with Flav. I got Art holding my iPhone. I got me in the kitchen. Ro just took a nap right before we started, but maybe she'll be up soon. Desi's taking care of business, and I hope you're having a great day. Art and I are crushing life like we always do. We already filmed two videos today. We did a Costco haul in the kitchen because we can't go into Costco anymore. We did a coronavirus-related doomsday haul with healthy preserve stuff and now it's time for making dinner. I prepped a little ahead of time because it takes about 35 minutes to roast the veggies. Let me tell you about the menu in a second. But in the meantime, we got family members streaming on from all over the world. You know the drill. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for dinner. Can you hear me? But maybe more importantly, can you? Can you hear somebody else? Someone else named? Me. Arthur T. Almacy the third. We got the Stangman, Chris and ATX. Nice, we got Austin in the house. Anthony says You can be heard in Canada and Australia. I'd love to hear that. Better than any Food Network show. Well, all Food Network shows is chopped on Triple D, so I'll take that as a compliment, my friends. Um, so here's the menu for tonight, right? 100% keto and basically 100% paleo too. We're making my famous keto chicken salt and mocha with roasted cauliflower and garlicky Brussels sprout mash from the number one best-selling book on Amazon called In Soul Food. <laughs> and in Soul Food category. No, and, I mean, and, and? And in... Allergens, right? Allergens. I moved to number two in Soul Food, actually. Oh, oh well, yeah. you were. I will, because when you look at me, the skinny white guy from Chicago, you think, dang, soul that's food. the definition of soul food, yo, right? <laughs> so this is my soul food. And this is my feel-good food. This, y'all, right here is cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. And the fact that I took the time to roast them ahead of time is going to make our mash beautiful. So I'm going to make it look like this, Art. We're going to blend the cauliflower with cream, cheese, butter, and ghee, and then chop the Brussels sprouts to put it on top. And this is what I call kid approved food. This is actually what I call picky eater approved food because here's the deal, raise your hand if when growing up, mama used to boil the Brussels sprouts or steam them for an hour. Because when you do that, they let off certain gases like sulfur and it makes the whole house smell like a, a wet fart. No, no, no good, we don't do that. We roast them at a high temperature. I actually have my oven at 425, which I'll turn off now. Because when you roast cauliflower and you roast Brussels sprouts, magic happens, right? They get nutty and roasty on the outside and creamy on the inside. Um, oh, we don't, let me get that for you, Art. Like huh? you gotta get the blue. I'll read it out here. Maggie B in the house. Maggie but B's in the house. You've got a super chat from John Welch. Already? 1999. Every time we get a super chat, Art goes like this, so I know, and it blinks like that. We also use this on the camera rig in the grocery store to let me know the time frame of the video. So, Art, I'm going to give that to and you. And not only did John Welsh get... Thank you. Wow, this is really weird looking at my hand through the uh, <laughs> camera. Very deceptive there. Not only did he give you the super chat, oh, he, did he gave get... you a pair Ooh. with a maraca of itself. Whoa, John gave 1999. John, mad love you all. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much. Super chats are a great way to support the uh, channel. We never ask for them, but they're so sweet. The best way to support the channel is two things. Number one, Go on Amazon.com, search Flav City, check out our cookbook, check out our shopping guide. If you haven't left a review yet, please check that out. And also, a great way to support the channel is to support our sponsors. And Thrive Market has been a supporter of the channel for over two years right now. You guys know the spiel about Thrive Market. Everything you would normally get at a grocery store like a Sprouts, a Whole Foods, you can get at Thrive Market for up to 30% cheaper. We're talking keto, paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free. We're talking pasture-raised pork, grass-fed beef, organic uh, chicken. It's pasture-raised, but they don't call it pasture-raised. I don't understand why. Um, but in the description box down below is a link for a promo code. You can get a $20 shopping credit if you're a brand new uh, customer. And if you sign up for a year long membership, it's a risk free, but you're gonna love the stuff like the ghee and the bacon I'm gonna cook for breakfast. So make sure you check them out. Um, so let's get rocking and rolling. Here. Shout out to Utah, Chris. Uh, Eli, how is the house hunt going? The house hunt's on hold. Uh, we're waiting until we get our taxes back and we're really picky, right? I'm 42, uh, I want the perfect house. So what we're decided we're gonna do, and I guess we talked about this a couple weeks ago, is we're not gonna find a pre-built house or, house or a new construction house that fits our needs. So we wanna find the house that we love the bones, right? 
and then rehab it, especially the kitchen. I want a kitchen literally four to five times bigger than this with certain specs. No one's gonna build that unless we build it ourselves. So wish us luck with that and then we'll see how it goes. So here's what I want everything to look like. Check it out, Art. We're taking boneless, skinless chicken thighs because they rock and have so much moisture. We're gonna wrap them in prosciutto and sage, dip them in seasoned almond flour, pan fry them in avocado oil, serve it with the mash with the Brussels sprouts. And in the book, you can see this one is a meal prep. It's egg free. Actually, it should be paleo too. I wonder why I didn't mark that. <laughs> and then macros. I mean, look at this. You per, blew it. Per serving of chicken, one gram of net carb. Per serving of mash, 6.6. .6. That's what you want to see, right? Real fan reviews. Awesome stuff. So let's get rocking and rolling. I'm going to slowly preheat my nonstick pan back here. We have 651 people watching right now. Okay, we have 600. Amira's in the house, the ophthalmologist from the Bronx. Hey, like, share everywhere on Farmers Only, on uh, Christian Mingle, Tinder. on Tinder, Hinge. Facebook, Hinge, Bumble. Lux, Bumble, all those things. Hey guys, I'm starting with boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Art, why do we like chicken thighs and not chicken breasts? Because they're vastly superior. They're vastly superior. Actually, they rule like Odoyle. Not Odoyle. Not Odoyle. does not rule. Odoyle sucks, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, here's the deal. Like, chicken breasts are fine and all, but they have no fat. They're overcooked very easily. You have some leeway with uh, chicken thighs. So if you overcook it a little bit, it ain't going to matter. So a little bit of salt goes down. A little bit of pepper on both sides. The Doyle rules is going over quite well, by the way. Oh, uh, good. Do you guys like my flub? We were like the Sam's Club Hall, and I meant to say O'Doyle rules. rules. Just and like O'Doyle. And I said, yeah, that's right. I'm like, just like O'Doyle. I'm like, darn it. And we realized it while editing. And I'm like, no, it did not work out. All right, do you like the pepper? I like the pepper. I like the pepper. A little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. And then we're going to put the sage leaf in there, wrap it in shoots and dredge it in seasoned almond flour. No crispy skin this time? Oh, we can't do crispy skin with salt and mocha. It wouldn't work, but you've seen me do crispy skin. It is a magical, magical experience when that happens. But you would need the skin on. You'd have to buy bone-on skin on chicken thighs, take it to your butcher counter and ask them, yo, my friend, please, please, take the bone out but leave the skin on and they'll do it for you then you can save those bones and make bone broth it's a winner winner chicken dinner for everyone yeah, literally i don't think this chicken dinner is something you do quite often i don't think i've eaten this here since the book the book yeah. yeah so last time we made this was probably january of 2019 so it's been a long time um i think i've made it since then for stories but uh, yeah I haven't been here. hey guys if you're just joining Keep leaving a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for dinner, share the live stream, check out the Thrive Market promo code. I'm about to use their uh, ghee in a second. Check out the cookbook on Amazon. Things are rocking and rolling. Art and I went to Walmart today. We shot a video about uh, doomsday coronavirus prep. What's the healthiest non-perishable canned and frozen food items you can get in case you don't want to go out in the time of a pandemic. We shot a video for the best things to buy at Costco right now. Of course, we did it in the home because we can't shoot at Costco anymore for now, but we're just rocking and rolling. We're loving life and we're loving the family. So next, I got to flip the chicken back. And by the way, I'm using organic chicken. Now, Thrive Market has really good chicken too. I don't think they have boneless, skinless chicken thighs, but the chicken is good. The beef is good, but for me, Thrive Market is all about their pasture-raised beef now, or the pasture-raised pork. It comes from a small Georgia farm called White Oaks Pasture, and the bacon that I'm going to have for breakfast tomorrow, I think I still have some left, is literally Shit, a no, game changer. Okay. Where is it? I can't find it right now, but their bacon and their pork chops. We'll make more of that next week because they're sponsoring every live stream in March. How amazing is that? So here's what I want to do. I want to get my prosciutto. Prosciutto de Parma. All right, if you had a choice between prosciutto and jamón de España, which one would you choose? I really like the jamón. I know, especially the pricey one, the uh, bellota, right? Bellota. So Dusty and I were in South Beach last weekend for the food and wine show, and we stayed at the SLS Hotel and had a couple meals at An Jose Andreas' restaurant. And we had some really tasty uh, jamón, uh, croquetas, and some other delicious tapas that was next level. 
Very, very high end. It was great. Okay, so this is Prosciutto del Duca. We actually got this today at uh, Walmart. But they don't have that at uh, Thrive Market. So I'll rip that open. Oh, wow. Lucas Ortiz, is, uh, his dinner tonight is 100% grass-fed ribeye, reversed seared with rosemary and garlic, paired with yes. blistered asparagus, oh. and insane sauce. Lucas. Thanks, Bobby. Art but, might actually jump off the stream and go to your house right now. That sounds amazing. Char Troyer. may only be here a short while. Have a fun video. And yet, despite that, gave you $19.99. Char is such a longtime supporter from Michigan and Michigan. Hey, you guys. We're going to be here every Friday night, uh, not next Friday night, because I'll be in L.A. for work. Actually, if you live in L.A., I'm going to be at the uh, Expo West Natural Food Show on next Thursday. I'll be there all day. So if you want to come by, check it out. That'd be amazing. Eleanor, uh, he's been washing his hands uh, a few times already here. I wash She's my hands. Asking if you wash your hands. Yeah, I wash my hands so much, Eleanor, that my hands are constantly chapped and dry. I'll be at the Lacanto booth, by the way, at the Expo West. So please come by. I won't have time for a meetup, unfortunately. I was going to bring Desi and Rose and get an Airbnb in Venice Beach. But with the virus going around, it's just not worth bringing a nine-month-old beautiful baby on the airplane to L.A. It just doesn't make sense, right? All right, so this is Sage. Can you smell this? Get in here. Char, William, uh, Laura. Isn't that lovely? Just so darn lovely. I love it. I'm sending Art a Culver's Thanks, Butter Marie. Burger. No one needs to know. We know he, he would love it. Send you kidding it to me? me tomorrow because I actually like the meal that he's whipping up here. <laughs> so I'll take this right now, a Butter Burger. I'll gladly take a Butter Burger tomorrow for the price of a... I know I'm just distorting what Wimpy used to say. Good luck. Buy. What's that from, by the way? Wimpy used to say, I'll gladly pay you tomorrow for a hamburger today. Who's Wimpy? Wimpy was this dude on Popeye. Oh, that's right. He was obsessed with hamburgers. Come on, Bobby. Okay, so here's the prosciutto. Now, here's what you want to do. I see another super chat. John you, Crow, four ninety nine, and a question. Can you give me a quick recipe for cocktail sauce? I have your cookbook, ooh, but can't find one in there. I don't have a cocktail sauce recipe. Um, let me look one up and recommend one. So here's what I want to do, Art. Check it out. I'm going to move this aside. Well, he just gave you another four ninety nine. What? That same question. That's too kind, man. Oh, my God. So I got to hook you up then. A tartar sauce recipe. Or cocktail. You want a cocktail. I have a really good dairy-free tartar sauce recipe if you want to use that. If you search Flav City uh, salmon cakes, I have that recipe and it's lovely. So I'll just wrap that around. You kind of want to make sure it goes around nice and tight. And that's it, right? Next stop will be in the seasoned almond flour. Eli V says Primal Kitchen has a new cocktail sauce. Um, I actually have that in my pantry right now. And they make a new tartar sauce. I hope it's on Thrive Market soon. It's dairy-free, made with avocado oil. It looks amazing. Um, but a, a tartar sauce. I, I should work on that. Or cocktail sauce. I'm sorry. It's pretty easy. What's the base of a cocktail sauce, Art? Probably ketchup. Yeah, I'm guessing it's ketchup and horseradish, right? Get some Bubby's horseradish. <laughs> Missy Pace says, what's up with Costco? I shop there almost exclusively with my Bobby approved. I know. Pace. They should roll out the red carpet for you and Art. Yeah, they, they kind of been doing the opposite. But hey. It's all going to work out in the end, I have Char a feeling. Char confirms cats up and uh, horse rider. Thank you, yeah. You know, lemon juice, a little bit of vinegar, too. So do that. Do um, sugar-free ketchup. Can you make the Flav City one if you want or buy Primal Kitchen? Do a little bit of prepared horseradish from Bubby's. That's a really good quality one. Do uh, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, salt, and pepper. And then, you know, also stir in a little bit, little bit of stone ground mustard or Dijon mustard. I think that'd be really lovely, too. I have a hard time getting this off here. There we go. People are asking about Johnny. Uh, Johnny's good. Didn't you enjoy seeing him? So if you didn't... That sounds like they want him. Oh, uh, I, I didn't call him today. We were so busy. And we didn't get the call from John either. Yeah. Maybe we got a voicemail, actually. So John always calls us when we're working at around 1.30. And our, what does he ask? Hey, Bobby, you going to the gym? Going to the gym. Because my dad and I work out together about four days a week. But the days Art and I are working, which is about three days a week... I don't, uh, but he always calls me. And if I tell him even the night before, like, hey, I won't work out tomorrow, he still calls me. It's so funny. Okay. One of these days he's going to call during a filming. And we We're waiting for him to call put it on speaker for, oh. during a filming to be like, hey, are you serving tonight? That's what he says. Not, are you making dinner? He goes, are you serving tonight? Johnny's so classic. I'm having a hard time getting this out. Shoots off here. Okay, you so use all that prosciutto for this? 
Uh, yeah, well, I have to Chick now. It's contaminated. Hands all over. It's all contaminated now, so I have to. But yeah, I was planning on doing it anyway. Uh, Mark just asked, cardio or weights? Um, both. So I do a cardio warm-up of 10 minutes, and then I do weights every day. I do a total body workout about four days a week because when I was younger, I had time to do certain muscle groups. Now, if I only get to the gym three or four days a week, I can't afford just to do one muscle group. So I'll do a total body each day, minimal rest in between sets, and I will uh, stretch a lot, do a lot of abs, a lot of active resting and stuff like that. What's For active resting? Active resting is like I finish doing my chest set and then I'll go straight to do a set of abs or a set of back extensions, something, something where I'm, I don't sit there and just like huff and puff. I don't even bring my cell phone to the gym. I'm having a really hard time. I don't even bring my cell phone to the gym. I just wanna be in the moment, work out, and then come back home and get back to work. I do a lot of stretching and I do a lot of core. Cause for me, I'm on my feet all the time. I don't wanna be big jacked guy. I wanna be limber, flexible, and have a strong core. So I'm not standing here all day and getting uh, getting sore back and stuff like that. Cause I have anterior pelvic tilt. So I constantly have to remind myself to go in like that and strengthen my core. Wow, Jackie McAvey. Hey Bobby, ordered your cookbook today. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Cookbook's been doing great lately, you guys. And it's all because of you, but we've been in the top 1,000 for a long time, but now we've been in the top 500, 600, back to a number one bestseller, which it hasn't been in months. So for a book to be out seven, eight months and to still be a number one bestseller on Amazon is amazing. So please keep checking that out. Just search Flav City on Amazon, or if you wanna use my Amazon affiliate link, I put it in the description box right under the Thrive Market promo code. Or if you live in another country, don't use my uh, link because that's for the US Amazon. Just uh, search Flav City on your Amazon. It ships worldwide. Deborah Davis, three ninety nine dollars Super Chat. Wow. I tell folks on Friday it's Flav City time. Tune that's in. right. Where else do you want to be on a Friday, right? You can be out to dinner at some overpriced restaurant that serves mediocre food. You can be at the bar drinking sugary margaritas. See you or, Have a good weekend. Or hanging out. Bye, Char. Thank you so much for hanging out and for the Super Chat. This is where you want to be on a Friday night. I mean, Fridays with Flav, it's legit the place to be. Did you buy all the Disney stock you were talking about? I did. I bought 500 more shares too early, of course. I bought it yesterday in the pre-market at 220. And then of course it went as low as like uh, 217 or something, but then close today around 220. I bought more Disney stock and I bought a little bit of Apple stock today, even though I'm nervous about that. So now I'm good to go now. But I have a feeling that the market has bottomed. I have a feeling that the Fed Reserve might make some positive cuts or a rate cut on Sunday night, and I could send the market up like 500 or 1,000 points on Monday. But it's pretty scary stuff. What does your t-shirt mean? Uh, so that's the Chicago flag, using a whisk and a knife. My brother got that for my birthday a couple of years ago. All right, so we're still folding here. I'm not doing the best job. The knife would also actually have to be blue. Yeah. Uh, but it's... Close True. Enough. Good point. Alex be- Flores, four ninety nine super chat. Hey from Miami. Great ga- great meeting you last week. Thank you. The Thermomix event. Then we had a great meetup at uh, the Thermomix pop up in uh, Miami, and we had over a hundred people come. People drove from far away, like Orlando, Fort Lauderdale. It was so cool, and I was hoping to do a meetup in LA, but because we're not doing a long trip because Desi and Rose aren't coming now because of Corona, I won't have time for the meetup. So once again, Corona ruins something else. Live Rose asking if you're sick. She says, hashtag stuffy. Uh, No, I'm not sick, but for some reason I woke up this morning, my throat's very scratchy. It could just be the dry air. As soon as I woke up this morning, I started this scratchy feeling. So I've actually been drinking tea, taking uh, this, I'll show you this immune activator I bought, and I have these Coors uh, immune shots. Okay. This is done. Not my prettiest work, but it'll work. Let me see if I can use this extra prosciutto and cover up some stuff here. Minerva wants you to tell the ingredients and the dish in advance so that we can cook with it. Yeah, I know. The thing is, it's so hard for me to prepare ahead of time. I actually chose this dish ahead of the normal time. I had it done at like 11 o'clock this morning. Normally Art and I finish filming on Fridays, And we have what art, like an hour to figure out what to buy, get it at the grocery store and rush home. But yeah, if I was better prepared, I totally would. 
Wow, Carissa Sampson, hello from Anchorage, Alaska. It's my first live. Whoa, I'm welcome. After watching your videos for two months. Everyone say hello to Carissa. What do you guys do in Anchorage when it's so cold in the winter? What's the typical Anchorage food? Is it your standard like fried fish stuff? Or are you guys eating like, uh, like, what do they eat? Do they eat uh, uh, seals up there and stuff like that? Those are the Eskimos, right? For everyone asking, Rose is sleeping right now. Yeah, Rose hopefully will be out soon. She literally fell asleep right as we're going live. People think we're avoiding the questions, just like, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Questions and... Keep in mind, I can't keep my eyes on there, and Art only has two eyes. Okay, now, I can have some keto wine. Cheers to the end of a week, a week that saw the stock market down 3,000 plus points. <laughs> Coronavirus spreading around the world, but hey, we're home now. We're not going outside, we're having a good time. Do you eat that whole leaf thing on the, on the chicken? Absolutely. It fries into the skin. It's delicious. Thank you, now, baby. Now, here's my almond flour. Season at every step of the cooking process, right? Process. I said it like, I said it like a uh, British there. Oh, a Canadian. I'm like Art. Art says a couple words. Sorry. Ireland, Irish, and uh, Canadian. He says sorry, like Canadians, and then Irish you do. Thank you much. Yeah, thank you much. <laughs> I'm like, Art, I'm like, how's your dinner? It's good. Thank you much. So it's almond more bono, flour, a <laughs> little bit of salt, unrefined sea salt. We actually talked about that in today's uh, coronavirus inspired doomsday video. When you want to get things that last a long time, salt is the ultimate preservation tool, but getting unrefined salt like Himalayan pink salt or Celtic salt from France, it has tons of trace minerals in there that taste good, but also offer electrolytes. So if you need some minerals, you're gonna get it. Whereas if you get a salt like this, there's no minerals in here besides sodium chloride. So I used to use this to cook all the time. This is the kind of stuff that actually spikes your blood pressure. You wanna get unrefined pink salt, like, uh, uh, like pink salt, gray salt, Redmond Real Salt. You can get all that stuff on Thrive Market. My favorite thing to, th to do is go on Thrive Market, use the values search. I search by keto and paleo. And then every time you spend now over $49 on Thrive, they give you a free gift of your choice. They keep giving me this almond butter. It's an $8 value and I use it in my smoothies every day. So between the free swag and getting the $20 shopping credit for first time customers, just try it out. Get the ghee too. I'm going to use this. This ghee, I rave about it to everyone. It's the best grass fed ghee, the best flavor ever. So, once again, they are a longtime supporter of the channel, and I have the link in the description box that gets you a $20 shopping credit for, your, for, for the year if you get the year long membership. So, check that out. Mark Gooby really wants keto biscuits and gravy. Ooh, oh, Mark, but Mark is the inventor of the Bobby Approved. Uh, stamp and mark we actually used for the first time today remove.bg and it worked perfectly it had a little actually actually the pepper grinder pepper was over grinder. my shoulder and we erased it so thank you for that it was really cool um let's start frying so to fry fry some more, fry some more we're gonna do a mixture of avocado oil and ghee because mm -hmm. avocado oil is a neutral flavored high heat oil which is lovely but the ghee like can you smell this? Like Regina and Corey, it smells like movie theater butter. But instead of being a hydrogenated fat with artificial flavors, it's pure grass-fed cream heated so the milk fat separates from the milk solids. It's casein-free, lactose-free fat. It's paleo, it's keto, it's clean, right? We don't talk about keto in terms of like fat is fat. Canola oil, soybean, sunflower, palm oil, garbage fats, grass-fed ghee, avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil, all really good fats. That's the kind of stuff you want. That's the kind of stuff you can load up on Thrive Market or anywhere you shop. Really, really important stuff that you put the best quality oils in your body because olive oil has polyphenols. This is really good for your brain and your myelin sheath. Coconut oil has lauric acid, such good properties, and people poo-poo on saturated fats like ghee and coconut oil. Forget about it. That is the best kind of fat for you. Art's got breaking news. You got back to back super chat. Dax. Back to back. I'm a super chat. I'm a back to back. I'm a super chat. <laughs> wow. Sarah <laughs> Morris, $2. And a question Can you please do a grocery haul for CKD? CKD? What's that? 
please let us know. I've never heard of that one. Sarah Osorio, $1.99, making chili and wild rice. Hey, how Ooh. did you and Art meet? Uh, mutual friends. We had a friend from, we all went to different high schools, but we all became friends somewhere in high school, so. Oh, thank you, by the way, for the back-to-back -back super now. chats. That was uh, yeah, let's Sarah, see if have a follow -up so two can... Sarahs. Wow, thank you so much. I pre Chronic kidney disease. Wow, oh, okay. I did not know about that. So right, check out what I'm going to do. Seasoned almond flour, right? Salt and pepper, you push. P -p push it real good. The chicken in here. I'm on fire today with the music references, by the way. Remember that this morning we were filming the Costco video? And I'm like, I wish it didn't have sunflower oil. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. And Art's like, I don't like that you said I'm not a baller. <laughs> now, if you have a tree nut allergy, and you can have a uh, coconut. So if you have a tree nut aller allergy, would you be allergic to coconuts too? I think that would it'd be different. You can use coconut or almond flour. Either one works here. Shake off the excess. Shake it off, shake it shake off. Shake it off, sh sh shake it off. And drop it in the hot fat. Let's see here. What song is that that you're quoting there? I don't remember. said, I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. <laughs> yeah, Peppermint Japan. Bobby, did you know Amazon ship internationally? I'm getting your zester and all a bunch of stuff shipped from the US. So the, the book will ship from any country, but if you get the stuff listed on my Amazon shop page for... Um, Kitchen gear, amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. It's going to be shipping from here because those are U.S. distributors. But my book will ship anywhere as long as you search your local Amazon. So I think I can get four of Ski -Lo, these guys in here. Ski -Lo, I wish I was a little bit tall. <laughs> Who is it? Ski -Lo. Ski Lo. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I hear someone. I hear someone woke. I hear Madison. D. Brown, Dirks is in the house. Alicia Palou says, I have tree nut allergy, but not allergic to coconut. Okay, so if you don't want to use uh, almonds, use coconut flour. It's actually a great flour for dredging. Very tough to bake and cook with because it's so darn dry. I see my girl Amira just hooked this up now. $4.99, lots of love to my fave family. Rose, Desi, Bobby, Art, and JP. Oh, thank you, JP. I want to try Brussels sprouts. Had a bad experience when I was a kid. I'm going to try this. I'm going to show you. Thank you. I'm going to show you the mash, the monster mash, as soon as we're done here. If you're just joining our show, that, that sheet tray. That is oven roasted cauliflower. By the way, notice how I'm saying cauliflower correct now. I got so much flack for saying cauli. People made fun of me. Desi's like, enough's enough. So now I'm taught myself to say cauliflower. It's roasted cauliflower, roasted Thanks, Brussels man. sprouts. We're going to make a buttery mash with pecorino cheese right now. Skip was complimenting my camera skills. It would have been really funny when I was reading that if I like tripped and fell. <laughs> so show the pan back here, Art. Uh, so the key is to cook it over medium-ish heat. I would normally cook chicken thighs over medium-high, but I'd burn the coating if I did that. So I'm gonna let that go for about six minutes. Someone please remind me to check that when you get a chance. Ow! I used the splatter. Ow. <laughs> I heard that. I heard the pop. You got yeah. both my arms. <laughs> Everyone, say Art. Sorry, Art. Thank you for it's getting right. burned. Art's getting burned for the cause. He is a true patriot to uh, the country, to Flav City, and now his hand has a secondary burn it's all good. because of that. Right? A little ghee and avocado oil <laughs> never hurt anyone. <laughs> Pretty sure it did, but not Art. So we're going to let that go. Undisturbed. Don't touch it. Now, let's fire up the Thermomix and make this amazing mash. That's going to be delicious. The mash. In the meantime, cheers to another week of making content, to working, to loving life, to keto wine, and to hanging out with the Flav City family, to hanging out with the supporters of the channel like Thrive Market and their beautiful ghee, their grass-fed collagen peptides that I use every day. Once again, link in the description box. Check them out. I love them. You get a $20 shopping credit. They're the best. And art has breaking news. Jennifer Orth, $9.99. Thank you, Bobby Desi and Art, for the education. Much love from Kansas. Kansas, I love Jennifer, it. Jennifer, much love. Thank you. Thank you, and Jennifer. I see that. Pobrecito oh. Arturo. <laughs> Another one from Canon. Whoa. Canon Coker. Hope you gents are having a good day. Totally buying the book. Thanks. For oh, you're so sweet. Here. Thank you so, so much. much. So I said it the other day, but I mean, when you're on a roll, you're on a roll. If you've bought the book, 
please leave a review on Amazon. The Amazon algorithm loves reviews. Just take a minute, I'd really appreciate it. And here's the recipe we're making tonight. Art needs a splatter guard too. So when we did the book, obviously I was a little more careful. This is wrapped perfectly. Uh, I was a little hasty tonight, but look, that's golden brown and crusty. This mash, if your kids don't like cauliflower or uh, Brussels sprouts, they're gonna love it. It's picky eater approved. I've had moms. I just spit on your arm. I, I think you need a splatter guard whenever you come just, behind the camera. I just spit on our, I spit a lot. I, he's getting oil, he's getting spit on. So I have moms email me all the time. Thank you, my picky eater. Erica loves your Brussels sprouts, your cauliflower. I love to hear that, right? Kirby Soto, Kirby. $1.99. Thank you so much. That's the first Kirby who's ever given a super chat. I'd love to hear that. Okay, let's do this. So Art, in my Thermomix uh, around the corner, mixing yeah. bowl. You obviously don't have to use a Thermomix. You can use a uh, blender, a food processor. I'm gonna put the cauliflower. I want the cauliflower to be smooth and creamy. And I want the, I keep missing. I want the uh, Brussels sprouts. Mmm, my Brussels sprouts so good to be a little chunky. So I don't want to blend it up. I'm gonna chop that by hand. So cauliflower goes in, but we don't stop there, right? We won't stop. We won't stop. Uh, we can't stop. We won't we stop. Chili peppers. Can't what? stop. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go a little bit of unrefined salt. Art needs extra oven mitts while filming. Just yeah, today. seriously. Yeah, I should to. have Art wear this while filming, like that. I might need to. Right? That'd be the only gloved, he could be a one-handed gloved cameraman. Okay. He could be the Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson of, of cameraman. cameraman. <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> A uh, little salt, a little pepper boy, You're it a little bit of ghee in here just to whip in there and warm up. Do you veggies. see anything wrong with eating pork rinds every day? Um, yes, I do. I would limit that to three to four days a week. It's still a saturated fat and there are no pork rinds that are actually uh, pasture raised or organic. So yeah, I would not eat any animal meat every single day. I I'm all about moderation. And if you eat animal meat, it has to be pasture raised, at least organic or um, grass fed, right? Grass fed beef all the way. Look at this by the organization from Desi. Cheese bin, baby bin, bread bin. I mean, come on. Desi's crushing Marie Kondo. Bobby, you just got a five Canadian dollar super chat from Penelope Love. Does your Thrive Link work in Canada too? Unfortunately not. P.S. Keep up. Oh, whoa, whoa, Thank, whoa, 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 a lot whoa, of stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pop in here. P.S. Keep up the good work and special link to Heart the uh, One Behind the Cam. That beautiful voice. Oh, hey, oh, well, yeah, I wish you. it worked. I and see Megan, I see Gia and Patricia. I see a lot of pairs dancing. Megan You're Hannah, $4.99, my 11-year-old Cadence is watching and a new vegetarian. Could you explain to her why eating meat is important? Ah, okay. She knows I trust what you say. Okay, I will. And Thank you, Megan. Night, Gia, Rodriguez, Gia, you are, you are amazing. amazing. No, you are. Dancing pair with and confetti Pat and Patricia Baker. Patricia. With Ooh. A celebrating and dancing I haven't pair. seen that one before. Wow. Hi. Thank you hey. for all these super chats. You guys are too kind. Okay, let's go back to Megan's daughter, Cadence. This is for you, Cadence. So, a lot of people are getting on the vegan, vegetarian bandwagon. A lot of people are watching the that Netflix uh, special, uh, Game Changers. Here's the deal. In the short run, you can have health benefits from eating a purely plant-based diet. But in the long run, you're doing yourself a disservice. There's a lot of studies out there that back this up. Eating meat, and when I say meat, I don't mean grain-fed traditional feedlot cattle. I mean the kind of meat, the kind of pork that Thrive Market has. Grass-fed beef, pasture-raised pork, and organic pasture-raised chicken, that protein is a complete protein. Those uh, animal proteins have certain minerals, certain enzymes, certain, certain heme. Heme is very important that you can't get with vegetables. So over the long run, you are going to be deficient if you're plant-based. If you eat a lot of vegetables along with really good pasture-raised grass-fed meat, you're good to go. So I'd highly recommend doing that because when you're eating pasture-raised beef, it's good for the farmer, it's good for you, it's good for the environment. Ultimately, they kill the cattle, but it's done in the best way possible. So that's the best way I can explain that. Patrice Hall, $1.99 with a pair saying cool. 
Ooh, thank, thank you, Patrice. You. Cindalina, dollar ninety nine. Message retracted, but gave you a dollar ninety nine super chat. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right, now I'm gonna whip some air <laughs> into my puree. Right. I'm done. Got another one here, man. Audra Perez, ten dollars. You guys are you, so nice. Hey, so come over here, Art. Yeah. I can smell. It's been, la, la, la. it's been six minutes, Labra says. Yeah, Labra. thank you. I can actually, it's funny, when you get really good at cooking, you can not only hear, but you can smell. I can smell that it's caramelized and ready to go. So if I just pick it up like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Good idea. <laughs> so tilt the oil away from you. How low? How low? That's what you want. And it's because I did not disturb the chicken, I just let it do its thing. Because what happens, Art, if you get in there and you poke and prod around and everything like that? Nothing good. Nothing good. You're ruining the sear. It's probably going to stick to the pan a bit more. That is the definition of GDB. Right, Art? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to put the splatter guard back down. I'm so happy because I'm happy. Clap your hands if you feel that salt and bokeh is the truth. <laughs> oh, Did you hear me? Oh, my sweet pea McGee. Oh, say hi too. Everyone Hello, say hi everybody. to the loves of our life. Rose Honey Parish and Desi Parish. Hey, sweetie. Shout out to Marilee's $1.99 Super Chat. Thank you so and much. A, uh, on set chair. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Rose, here's your on set. Let's put Bruce, your... Thighs are juicier than breasts. Oh, yeah. Got more fat, more flavor. Um, if you want to see Rose crawling for the Whoa. first time, Go to my Instagram story, go to Desi's story. She started crawling slowly, but she can crawl all the way across the living room. It's really cool. Mwah. Bobby Kesha Holloman just gave you $24.99. Best way to cook wild caught salmon? Question mark. Very Thanks. difficult. Thank you, my favorite crew. So Kesha, thank you very, very uh, nice. So wild caught salmon, which a Thrive Market has, is very lean and meaty. The best way to cook it, to be honest, is to take it off the skin, cut it into cubes, and make salmon patties. Google Flav City. Salmon patties or salmon cakes with tartar sauce. I have the best recipe. That's why it's very difficult to cook it as is because it's so darn lean. Rose, my sweet, we missed you. Everyone's like, yo, Bobby's cool and all, but we're here for Rose Honey, right? And she keeps scratching her eyes with her pterodactyl-like claws, <laughs> right? But you're, you're such a quick healer because you have all that amazing collagen and healing power, right? My sweet petite. Yes, sweet pea. Okay, I was going to do something. Oh, here we go. So, Rose, we're making the puree. Oh, so check it out, Art. See how my puree here is a little bit... Oh, it's hot. That's hot. There we go. See how it's a little bit tight? Check it out. I need liquid. So I actually have in here a combination of organic cream and cashew milk. And I put salt, pepper, garlic. See the garlic right there? And um, bay leaves to infuse. And that's the best way to make a silky puree without watering it down. So I'll add that. This is what I do around the holidays when I make keto mash or even when I make for the family uh, potato, mashed potatoes, you have to steep the cream with the aromatics. It's very important. And I want to give a shout out. These guys sent me some cashew milk. It's a small company. They're called Nutty Life. Check them out on uh, Instagram. This stuff is so good, they make a chocolate version that Dusty and I crushed. And it only has cashews, water, dates, and vanilla. It's so good. Hey, Baba. Hey, sweetie. So that's gonna blend up, then we'll chop the uh, Brussels sprouts and just fold them in and get kind of a texture thing going on. Kids, if they're picky eaters, which Rose is not, she eats chicken livers and yolks and everything. The lover. That looks really good. Let's scrape this down. Rose, how was your nap? You got to give her a second. When she wakes up, she's a little groggy. But give her a few seconds. And the nice thing about 5 to 6.30, we call that her prime time. She's like so active. She's so fun. She shot two or three videos with us this week already, Art. Greetings from Amsterdam. Amsterdam, I haven't been there ever. So this needs a little more liquid. Take a look inside, Art. It's looking very yummy. I'll switch with you. And I gotta get this chicken out. This chicken is done. And get the next batch in. 
So what I'm going to do is just throw the lid onto this. And then before I continue, whoops, I want to, Hello. I want to get uh, the chicken out. But here's the deal, Art. I should probably put it on a cooling rack, right? Because we have a crispy skin there. And if I put it directly on a sheet tray, it's going to create some condensation and ruin the crispy skin. So always get a sheet tray. Guys, if you want my kitchen gear, amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. I have everything I use on a daily, weekly basis there. Now these are done. So I'm gonna take my chicken. Can we just give a little love? When you see sexy chicken like that, I'm bringing sexy back and it's crispy. Sexy and I know it. That's gluten free. It's dairy free because we're basically using ghee. It's paleo. And it's so tasty. So, Art, do you think I should wipe out the pan before doing the next batch? What do you think? I'm wondering if it's gonna burn. I think it'll burn. So I remember from the cookbook that if I keep it in there, what do you guys think? Should I keep it going? You know, I'm, I already know the answer. I'm just gonna take it out. Wipe it out. I'm gonna wipe it out. Wipe it out. Wipe it out, Rose. <laughs> It's getting ready to burn. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Smoke. That's the uh, one thing about almond flour is that it does burn easily. So if you're going to pan fry, you have to do it in batches. So let's just wipe it out. Wipe it out. Or as Joey from uh, Full House would say, cut it, cut out. it out. We're so lame. <laughs> Talking about Joey. Joey Gladstone, right? How do I remember that? I can't remember. We had a discussion name. about that recently. I know, but I we never remember stuff. We had to look it up. Yeah. We didn't, neither of us remembered his last name. And that is the essence of what Art and I do. In between filming, we look up what Joey's last name was from Full House. We look up random SNL quotes from 1992. I wish there was a cameraman following us because the stuff we talk about is the show. A show about nothing. A show about nothing, literally. Or a show about severe disorder. Okay. Uh, Michelle Deary, five dollars. My daughter Kennedy, eight years old, would like Ro would like Rose to know she thinks that she is adorable. Oh, Kennedy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rose had such a fun time, by the way, in Florida, because she's never been in warm weather like that, and she's never been surrounded with that many people, and she was loving everyone, smiling. They were smiling back. It was really a grand time. Okay, let's get some more chicken in there, and then I'll fold the Brussels in here. So Rose, this is chicken thighs, salt, pepper, sage, prosciutto, and then we put it in seasoned almond flour because we're making it low carbon keto, right? And we pat that flour into the skin and then we fry it in the fat and that's what makes it nice and crispy like the first batch right there. Okay. And guys, if you're just joining, this is what we're making. We're making salt and boca. We're making keto mash and we're hanging out on hashtag Fridays with Daddy, also known as Flav, right? Liver well, keeps saying, don't wipe it out, but it's been done. No. As Bare Naked Lady said, it's all been done. <laughs> it's all been done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You have to. Almond flour will burn. How many songs can we sing? <laughs> That's the goal from this point forward. I think we've set a record for today. Let's keep going. Did Rose just say Papa? Uh, she says Dada. She does. We, I don't know if she's, to that. Yeah, I don't know if she's doing it like consciously for me, but yeah, for the last 10 days, she's been going da, 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 da. And we'll take- Non-stop. Non-stop, yeah. She is, you know she looks like Desi, but when it comes to talking and camera presence, she's all me. Cause you put the camera on her for Instagram stories, boom, she lights up. You light up, you smile like the camera's on me. Oh, the camera's on me. Oh, okay, see, just like that. What's a Bobby approved oat milk? Um, to be honest, none because- What about milk, do they do one? Milk doesn't, oh yeah, that'd be the only one. Yeah, milk makes an oat milk because it's organic. The other ones aren't organic. We have a video coming out next week about glyphosates. Glyph glyphosates are the active ingredient in Roundup and they're heavily sprayed on oats and wheat. So if you don't buy organic oats, they score high in glyphosate. So milk makes an expensive but sprouted organic. Yeah, it's sprouted. They're the only ones who do sprouted organic oat milk. That's delicious. 
Bobby, you just got a $4.99 super chat from Melissa Salazar. Wow. You guys have changed my life. I look forward to your hauls and recipes. I have a five-month-old baby. I'm trying to start my weight loss journey. Any tips? Yeah, well, the tips are Thank you. stick to a keto paleo diet. You don't have to go strict keto because, listen, I love mangoes. I love apples here and there. Desi wants to make a paleo cake once in a while. If you can really stick to a keto and paleo diet and work out and cook your own food because nowhere you go, no item you buy at the grocery store is going to use avocado oil, grass-fed ghee, organic chicken, the kind of ingredients I'm... <laughs> See? Took her like, what, five minutes? You have to take control of your health by knowing exactly what goes into your body, my dear. Is the sprout bread from Aldi good? The sprouted where, bread? Where, where could they get the answer to that question? Well, I would search Flav City Aldi. We do have a bunch of videos, but it's in one of our halls. The best bread they have at Aldi is their knock your sprouts off bread. That is the best. Okay. But Aldi's great, but we're talking about supporters of this channel. If you are just joining and you don't know yet, Thrive Market is supporting every live stream for the next five weeks. They're an over two-year supporter of our channel. Everything you would get healthy-wise at Aldi Whole Food Sprouts, it's on Thrive Market for up to 30% cheaper. This box comes once or twice a month. I say you have to try the grass-fed, unflavored collagen. I put that in my green tea every morning. They're the only ones besides Trader Joe's who makes coconut milk without guar gum. Um, you have to get the ghee because it's grass-fed, organic, and it's amazing. And I'd highly recommend getting the pasture-raised pork bundle. Like I said, they're the only ones, them and ButcherBox, to be honest, that have pasture-raised pork from a small family farm in Georgia. It's the best bacon and pork chops and ground pork you're ever going to get. In the description box down below is a link, thrivemarket.com slash bobby. Get a year-long membership. They'll give you a $20 shopping credit, and you can use it for anything you want. And if for some reason you don't like Thrive Market, in the first 30 days you cancel, you get your annual membership feedback, but you keep the $20. So Cinda Lee just gave you a 99 cent super chat. Thank you, Cinda. Thank you, Cinda. Cinda Lee, no, sorry. Uh, Taylor, I've got water here if I need it, but I can, oh, get, yeah. by. I can, Actually, get, no. I can get by an hour without it. I'm good. I poured Art some like keto wine. Art, oh, wow, thank you. little sip of keto wine. Oh, I got something better. Let's cheer everyone on here. This is to Art and this is to the 1,100 fans watching. We honestly love you guys, so cheers. People are noticing you're coming close to a million. Are you going to have a million subscriber party? We'll do a live stream. To be honest, those are numbers. I don't care about numbers. I care about reaching you guys. A million subscribers is, is amazing, right? We've been doing this for eight years, but I don't get obsessed with numbers. I get obsessed with creating good content to reach you guys. Okay, so our, check that out, please. This is the mash. This could be baby food for Rose. This is so darn tasty, right? When Rose gets older, you should do a daddy-daughter cooking show. For sure, Susie. Let's check for seasoning, though. A little more salt. A little more salt. Only because you didn't say, I know it's going to be. I know, right? Just a little more salt, and then we'll scoop it out, and I'll show you the easiest way to, to make this. By the way, the recipe for this is in the description box down below, or search on the Google machine, Flav City, chicken, salt, and mocha. And when you do, please share it on Pinterest. Very, very important. All right, done. Daddy made the mash. Daddy made the mash. Hey ho, here we go. Daddy made the mash. I'm, I'm. <laughs> Rose needs to play with a toy. She um What do I have for you, Rose? What about that like Oh here we go. That ladybug. Yeah, there you go. Ladybug attached to your chair. Okay, this is Did done. You see, oh we can't see if Johnny left a voicemail because I'm using Bobby's we phone can't. for this. So. You know, let me just call him right now. Can I use your phone art? Yeah. He's We're going to call him live. He's not going to answer it, though, because he's not going to well, recognize my number. He doesn't like a caller ID. Johnny has a Nokia flip phone. Actually, sometimes he takes his glasses off to look like that. Let's see. I actually know my dad's phone number, which is amazing. I've, I know, got, like, I've got him in here. Oh, you do? Wow, nice. Uh, let's call Johnny. Live. Call. Yes, Taylor, Bobby's phone is charged. We charge it up. We're on the ball. And Art never misses a beat, just so you know. I'm calling Grandpa. I'm calling... Do you know what city in Georgia? No, Thrive is, oh, uh, White Oaks Pasture is the farm. They're located in Marina Del Rey, though. Thrive Market. That leads me to another song. Right now, we both know 
that Marina Del Rey. Plane's gonna fly away and I'll be on it. You don't know that song, do you, Art? Where's Johnny? Call from Desi's phone. Oh, John. I'll call from Johnny's phone. Desi's from Desi's phone. All right, come back here. Let's see if the first batch is as good as the second. Before I flip it, can you guys tell me how it looks? How's that look, Art? More or is it good? Uh, I think it needs a little bit more. Okay, one more time. Can't rush it. Thank you, Maggie B. Well, you know why? Because look, I said the heat should be just above medium. It's medium. So I'm going to crank yank it up. Crank anchors. <laughs> and then put this down. Let's get Desi's phone. I'm going to call from there. Desi, where's your phone? Oh, here it is. Yeah, somebody needs to keep count of all these songs. We're setting a record today. Is Al hey. Yellow Sweetener helping? You. Hey, hey, you. Hey, hey, you, my little magoo. Allulose is an amazing sweetener. It's a low glycemic sweetener. It's 70% sweeter than sugar, so you can use less of it. I know some Costco's have it now. It's in a liquid, and I just don't know how to use it per se. Um, you can use it as like a syrup, but uh, they don't make it in powdered form, like a one-to-one -one for sugar. Every yes, time I see somebody say hey, man, I think of that Coors Light commercial. Yes, Dada, do you hear that? Doing an anchor. Dada, oh, give me a kiss. Mm, I love you. Let's call Grandpa. Where's Gramp? Hmm. That was weird. Let me see. Oh, it's the wrong number. There we go. <laughs> Let's call random people. <laughs> you tell Grandpa to get his butt over here. Huh? He might be taking a nap. It's Friday night. He could be at the bar, too. Could be huh? tired. True. Hey. Hello. Hey, Johnny. Hi. How's it going? All right. I just tried you from Art's phone, but you didn't answer. I didn't recognize the phone. Ah, okay. Good to know. Um, you want to come for dinner? What time? Come over now. All right, fine. All right, careful walking over. Bye. Yeah. He didn't recognize the number. What did I say? That's did right. I not say that? Art called it. Art called what Grandpa said, huh? I think he needs Abby. <laughs> That's right. We got to add him to the list. John has speed dial. I'm number two. Desi's number three. My brother's number four. There could be room for number five to have Art there. Johnny number five. <laughs> okay. Let's no check Arturo this out. Arturo and Grandpa Flav's phone. <laughs> that looks yummy. See how the... Sage, literally, it's seared into the skin now. That's what you want. Oh, that was hot. Oh. Why'd I do that? Oh, oh. <laughs> don't do that. There we go. Nobody, that nobody's gonna know what that is. No, no one will know that one. Right, that's that's beautiful, you guys. I'm so happy with that. Look at the way the fat is crackling on the skin. Joseph Finley is at the hockey game oh. and he just gave you a dollar ninety. Are you serious? Joseph, save oh, the money wait, for wait, beer. Wait, wait, wait. Headed to the game. Oh, okay. I, no, at hockey game. Needed to contribute. Hashtag Aww. free soon. Thank awesome, you. Man. Save your money for beer, dude. Thanks, dude. <laughs> All right. So, Rose, this is the mash, the monster mash. Was Let's... Bobby approved pre-workout? You know what? I have to do a video about that because I'm getting so many requests and I don't know anything about pre-markets, uh, pre-workouts out there. I have a video about protein powder, but not about pre. Art just bought a Bobby approved protein powder too. Yep. He's on a plant-based protein powder. He's gonna get huge. Art went from a 40 to a 42. He's huge. Like Banya. Like Kenny Banya. Hey. Johnny P would. Uh, it's got. It. Yeah, I guess there's just salt, pepper, cheese in there. Cream, a little bit of cream. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry, Rose. I can give her a Brussels sprout. Or she can't handle that. Too gassy, huh? She's not ready for... So, Desi's been doing a lot of research about foods for certain ages. And even though a baby could have Brussels sprouts, you want to avoid certain foods till certain ages because their tummies just can't handle them. Grains, they really can't handle until like... They're over 16 to 24 months old. It's very important to wait. Okay. Jenny... Uh, Janet McDermott Janet. just gave me $1.99. She gave me $1.99 and said 20. I love it. Johnny's number one. Johnny's number one on my speed dial. Can you talk about Amy's and the salt content? Listen, frozen foods always can have a little more salt. There's 2,400 milligrams of salt in a teaspoon. When you see 800, 
we're talking about a third of a teaspoon in a serving, it's probably not that much. But if you are someone with high blood pressure, you probably, you okay, sweetie? You probably want to go on for the reduced sodium one. What's up, my bubba? You want to come a little closer? Huh? Okay, so Rose, now we're going to take the Brussels. I think she might be hungry, sweetie. People are asking what her dinner is. What who? Rose's dinner she is. Wants to go play. Yo, put her down. She can go play. Let me. Her dinner. Um, earlier she had some homemade apple gelatin jigglers that Desi has a recipe for on her Instagram. It's a really cool recipe. And she eats pasture raised egg yolks that are soft boiled. She eats pasture raised chicken livers. She eats, uh, what's up, Bubba? She eats, uh, rutabagas. Really, really good stuff. Why is she so upset? Oh, Rosie. So I, I just want to roughly chop that and fold it into the mash. I made more than the recipe calls for, so I'm, I'll save some for the side. I think this would be a good opportunity for people to share, right? Absolutely. People, copy the link to this broadcast, help us out, share it amongst all your social media sites, dating sites, all your friends, yep. all your enemies. Let them know you're watching Fridays with Flav. So, all right, check it out. Fridays now I just fold it in. Serve this to your kids, to your boo, to your lover, to your mistress. Look at that. It looks hearty and farty, and which it is, and delicious. But that, right, you check it for seasoning. That is so good. That's what you want. So that's done. We'll move that aside and I'll just save some Brussels sprouts here. That's right, Maggie. And then I'll get the second bag of, ch of chicken out and throw the last one in there and then we're done. Check it out, Art. Chicken looks glorious. Is Rose getting more teeth? Um, does he see some teeth kind of on the top? I don't see them, but she does. But we think, because she's been very cranky this week, so we do think that maybe there's some teeth coming in there, but we're not 100% sure. What do you think, Mommy? Teeth? Yeah. That's it feels like it. All right, let me rub this out here, and then we're pretty much done, you guys. Super easy, right? Lemon peasy. <laughs> Lemon peasy. There you go. Another reference. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> What was what, what that, lemon peasy? I said lemon peasy. Oh, whoops. Well, because you didn't say easy peasy. You just True. said super easy, so I'm like, oh. True. Throw okay. It in. Weird, weird Negan reference. A little more avo. And then we'll just finish. Don't you hate when that thing runs out? You gotta refill oh, it's, it. it's really in annoying. The, in the middle of cooking. Yeah, that's the Rachel Ray Oil dispenser. Once again, on my Amazon shop page. But when you it runs out, you gotta pop the top out, fill it out. It's kind of annoying. Okay, last ones. Let's take the chicky chicky. So tomorrow's video on the channel, you guys, is gonna be the best things to buy at Costco right now. They have some amazing creamer, coffee creamer from Laird Superfood. They have some new Vital Proteins collagen, which I have mixed reactions about. They have amazing organic chicken and kale burgers. Um, they have some, they have a keto snack mix, which I have mixed feelings about. We filmed the video at our kitchen because we can't film at Costco anymore because they kicked us out and it's going to be great. And then on Sunday, we're doing a coronavirus related doomsday haul, showing you healthy preserved, canned and pickled food and some frozen food to stock up on in case a pandemic breaks out and you don't want to go in crowded places for food and go out. If you or just want to Netflix. Or yeah, or a hurricane or a natural disaster. Or The Walking Dead. Or The Walking Dead. If the zombies come back, and they want to eat your brains, I'll just stay home. I'll watch Netflix and I'll just eat my uh, Amy's frozen pizza. Right? Bobby, <laughs> you just got a $9.99 super chat from AMD. Because of you, I, AMD. Learned, I learned about, about more yeast extract too. being like MSG. I didn't know they were the same and I'm allergic to MSG. So now I know and I've started to feel better. Love to hear that. I bought more AMD stock also. Um, I love to hear that. Now, I did get an email from someone this week saying that uh, another word for MSG too is citric acid, but I'm not too sure about that because citric acid also is a preservative that comes from uh, 
Uh, this person wrote, I believe Bobby also says that maltodextrin is another name for yeast extract. Yeah, <laughs> maltodextrin is just a preservative that's made from okay. GMO corn. But citric acid to me is a relatively harmless preservative, right? Citric acid is also used in some vitamin C's, I believe, right? Yeah, vitamin C. But I can see where sometimes they might make it into MSG, but I'll have to do more research about that. Right now it's fine. Okay, let's do a little bit of cleanup because we're in the home stretch right here. Once again, this is how everything looks. Check it out, Art. This is from the book. Hey, the chicken looks amazing. Like legit amazing. I'm gonna clean up. Well, you just got a 1999 super chat. Are you serious? From Janet. Janet McDermott. You from who? You were amazing. Well, her name is getting cut off because she's got a dancing pair. Ah. I'm McDermott. I, I see it. You are Janet. Amazing. Thank you, Janet. You are amazing. You are my darling. You are my sunshine gal. Wow, Rose is really upset. Okay, let's push this to the side. Right? I'm gonna clean up. Yeah, what should I warm her? Rose never cries like that, very rarely. Okay. This is Rose's bone broth. And you know you made a really good bone broth when it looks like this, look at it. It's so gelatinous from the collagen, the gelatin that came out of the bones. It's amazing. So I'll take that, just scoop in some organic butternut too. So here's what I'm gonna do for Rose, y'all. Rose, bone broth is one of the best things you can give a baby, because it's loaded with collagen, gelatin, chondroitin, which is very good for their immune system. <clears throat> Opportunity for another musical reference. Don't uh, you cry, here beside you. Which one is that? Guns and Roses, Don't Cry. Oh, Don't You Cry Tonight, <laughs> nice. Don't cry How much of broth, babe? A little more? And um, very good for their gut bacteria. Super important stuff. But also it has electrolytes and minerals that come out of the bones and out of the uh, bone marrow. Amazing stuff. So I'll just take... What's that, babe? Yeah. I'm not going to give her skin. Not the skin on top? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. And then I roasted yesterday for Rosie a little bit of organic butternut squash. You don't have to buy organic, but... For her, she's worth it. And, okay. And then I just warm it up in some stock. We blend it in the baby bullet. Warm it up, Chris? Well, I'm about to. Another one. We are in fuego tonight. So Rose, we do that with parsnips and rutabagas. We boil it in bone broth, puree it. We do that with uh, pasture raised livers. We puree it. What else do we do that with, babe? What else do we do that with? A lot of stuff. Bone broth is the greatest thing to blend it up. You could also blend it with a mix of uh, breast milk a little bit too. Amazing, right? Art, please read this comment. Joining Seco next week, do you have a code and do you prefer Palo 61 or Seco? Um, well, Palo 61, the red, is my favorite. You don't have to join the club if you don't want to. But if you use Flav City promo code at checkout with three bottles or more, you get $15 off shipping. They also have, uh, this is a great one. So they have the Palo, but then they have one called Grand Noir and one called La Catura. And it has a, a bunny rabbit. These are some of the best red wines I've ever had. Palo is a great one, but Grand Noir is so bold and Catura is so good. Art and I and, Des and Rose might go there in the fall for the harvest. Very excited for that. Okay, let me see how this chicken's doing here. Yeah, it's great. And actually, you get that, you pair it with some like pasture-raised pork from Thrive Market, you're good to go. So our, look, this is maybe the best skin of the day. Look at this, Art. We might have just crushed it on the last batch. Look at that, O-M-G. Look at that. Very nice. No one knows or cares that's almond flour. No one knows that it's paleo. It does not matter. That's flavor. That's better than most people doing it with starchy flour or GMO cornstarch or stuff like that. It was beautiful. All right, wash that down. We're at 1,300 subscribers. Oh, we better not have 1,300 subscribers. That'd be bad. 
viewers. Oh, viewers. If we had 1,300, What's the difference? something would be very, very bad. Hopefully we'll be at a million in March. We'll have a huge live stream party with bottles of keto wine flowing. Art's going to get hammered. Hey, Bill Brasky! Uh, all right, let's plate a dish. All right. Here's how we do it, y'all. I actually wish I had more mash. So I'll take the mash. Uh, yeah, I should have. We'll take the mash, put it down like that. All right, look at that, it's so chunky and beautiful. Then I'll take two. Bill Brasky is an <laughs> SOB. <laughs> I'll take two of these guys. We forgot to buy parsley again, Art. Oh, what can I garnish this with? We'll put a little bit of Brussels on the just side. Got a $1.99 from Lucas Pedrosa. Ah, look, I need some kind of greenery. Oh, you know what? And then I want to take a little bit of olive oil. Lucas, uh, Bobby and I had a mutual friend in high school. All three of us went to different high schools. A little bit of Italian olive oil. Back then. Right? I'll take a little bit of Hawaiian red salt just down there to make the flavors pop. Very good salt. And then, do I have anything green in here? Can't put cilantro. No, no greenery. So guys, there it is. Throw some love up, throw some hands. I wanna see the likes go from 308 to 354. Keto chicken, salt and boca with low carb, Brussels sprout and cauliflower mash. Feel good food, low carb, paleo keto. But forget about that. Most importantly, like it says in the cookbook, it's, look, feel good food. Food. Soul food. It's soul food. And who is the number one best selling chef on Amazon of this soul guy. food? This guy, right? Love it. So I just want to show you also when you cut into the chicken like this. Right. Beautiful. You get that nice pink prosciutto. That's not raw, that's the prosciutto. But look, it all came together. Very, very nice. I'm just going to sneak a piece and then I'm going to give it to Art. Look at this. Wow, right? That's... Make the recipe. Wow. Mm. Recipe in the description box. Or just search Flav City Salt and Boca online. That is so... Green yeah. onion? What's that? Alicia Palooza's green onion. Maybe you want to put a little bit of that in there for garnish? Yeah, that would work. That is so gangbusters, it's crazy. And this chicken came out so dynamite. It's actually, Whoa. Johnny! Here's it's actually Johnny. cookbook worthy, right? So, I'm gonna buzz my dad in. I'm gonna grab a fork and knife for Art. And Art's gonna try it. And we're gonna sign off because Rose is getting restless. And I, I, should, I turned it off. Okay, all right, that's for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get John in. And hashtag feed art, y'all. Get in there, Ardio. All right. All right, he wants to twist his arm. Everyone say hello to the one and only Arthur T. Almacy, the third. Peace. Hi. Broke hello. Good to see hey, you Johnny. Sir. How are you? Good, how are you? Say hi to everyone on YouTube. Hi. Right, Johnny made his trek over. He's ready for dinner. All right, all right, get in there. Hi. All right, that's yours. How are the, you? The keto chicken salt and boca. The Patriot is here, exactly. Ooh, that's a good crust on there. Isn't that nice? It. I can feel it already. It's all about getting the pan hot and not touching the chicken once it goes in. Hashtag feed art. <laughs> it's happening in real life. Art's trending. Wow. Flavor bomb. Flavor bomb. That nice. Pros the prosciutto, nice salty bit mm -hmm. to it. The crust. So much of this thing is texture. It's flavor and texture. Wow. It's like a perfect blend of flavor and texture. Oh my God, Art's never That's, been so descriptive before. I know. Holy you're getting, cow. You're getting a little woozy about it. That's crazy. That. Gonna <laughs> yeah. That's, That's crazy. You try that stuff on its yeah, own. Yeah, you try the mash. The monster mash. Oh. That's good. <laughs> I picked up some monk fruit and Art's favorite cereal at Whole Foods. 
Now he's got a new favorite cereal we saw today. It was called Gushers cereal. <laughs> they can hear the crunch. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. ASMR, right? Yeah, ASMR. A little bit more. Let's, let's do it a little more. You ready for some salt and boca, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> so tonight's menu, John, is chicken salt and boca with cauliflower and Brussels sprout mash and some red wine. Good. It's going to be fantastic. Very good. Very good. All right. All right. Let's switch back here, Artie. Okay. All right, guys. So that is it. I'm going to plate up some stuff for Johnny and everyone. Rose has her puree ready to go here. Last time, thank you to Thrive Market for supporting the channel for over two years now. If you want to try them out and get a $20 shopping credit, use my link in the description box, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. Um, get the $20 shopping credit when you sign up for a year. You can always cancel if you don't like it amazing stuff on here. I really think you're going to enjoy it just like we're going to enjoy this. So guys, uh, tomorrow, Costco video, what to buy now. Sunday, coronavirus kind of doomsday haul. We got so much more content coming at you, but another awesome time hanging out with you. Art, Johnny, Rose, Desi, and myself, we'll see you soon. But till then, we say saying to you like we always do, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. See you guys. That was fun. See you everybody. Fun times with the fam.